people like to argue these days and it seems everybody sometimes argues their own personal dictionary what i'm talking about is hurricanes like this has been a hurricane in my mind for a while and it's now a hurricane but they've yet to declare it a hurricane because they haven't flown over to test the winds in it yet. They haven't done that for a couple hours. But the pressure has dropped to 979 millibars. And so, technically, it is one millibar away from the millibar version of a Category 2 hurricane. But yet, because they have not tested the winds, which have to be 74 miles an hour, sustained to make it a hurricane officially by science's terms, people are still saying it's not a hurricane. But I can guarantee you when it hits South Texas, it's going to be a hurricane. And it is definitely going to drop hurricane rain, baby. Hurricane rain. Look at that convection explosion. It's like quick pow, boom, ting tang, wang, pam, pow. All right. I do have good news for you, though. After consistently showing <clears throat> Invest 92L, which would be Isaiah's um, hurricane or whatever, that this is this thing coming off of Africa. Like models have been showing it hitting Florida, but now a model run showed it pulling a Dorian, going up the coast, and then getting kicked out. I would guess Miami in this area of land has one of the best space force shield bubbles over all that really expensive property all the super rich people like to party at so it's probably really hard to hit it with a hurricane of any great strength Texas on the other hand we've seen it Texas get hit by a couple in the last few years <sighs> so yeah look at this that's a just a an incredible amount of moisture I would bet you we're definitely going to see some 15 inches of rain in some spots possibly even 20 is my guess and then you got Gonzalo down here somewhere who's looking like a rough mess, but we got to watch him and pay attention until he goes away completely. This is the nav gem. The nav gem has us getting hit by that wave off Africa, you know, around the 30th. And so I definitely recommend since we're getting hit by hurricane today in Texas and Hawaii is going to be hit, getting hit with a tropical storm or hurricane in like three days, I definitely Recommend to everybody staying on full hurricane alert, especially during a pandemic plague where like 35% of the people have been trying to convince each other that it's fake and that the 1918 Spanish flu was some hoax to try to get Woodrow Wilson in office. Yeah, so that, you know, one model, so I'm saying of all the model runs that have showed Invest 92 smacking into the America, the America, we had one run that showed a Polidorian. So, you know, I don't know. It's going to be a weird battle. Prayer warriors, we need you now. Hello, chick. That's dude. What? I love that joke. Meanwhile, hello, 92L, a decent way of moving off Africa coast, has wasted little time getting attention. Check back on this guy in a few days. As you know, I declined to show 10-day projections, but they're interesting. I can show them. That's what I'm, it's Thor of Thor News, dude. I can pretty much do whatever I want. And... You guys are treating me really well and have been treating me well. Thank you, Asteroid Fight Club. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much to Mississippi Mary and North Carolina kick-ass Paula. You guys are awesome. And I am here for you until my energy runs out. Or if I take a break for breakfast tacos. Was it talking about? Oh, yeah, Hannah. So this says 980 millibars of pressure. So it's dropped 12 millibars since last night. It is steadily strengthening overnight. Winds are at 70 miles per hour, but plane has not sampled all parts of the storm yet. So south of Houston, we just had a tornado warning. Well, what do you know with um, Mary and Paula's good luck? Oh, it's not good luck. They finally named it Hannah. But I've been saying this is a hurricane. People are like, it's a hurricane. It's always a fun discussion. Billy Forney, a fellow cool Texan, winds of 70 miles per five miles per hour pressure at 983 millibars moving west at nine miles per hour northern Iowa about 55 miles offshore so that would make it making landfall in about what is it let me do the math six 
anywhere between five and six hours. I don't know if that's correct, though, because my math earlier was saying that we had like 18 hours before landfall. What just happened? Schumann resonance to me. Well, okay. Boom. Well, there's a boom. There's booms everywhere. So thank you, Mississippi Mary and Paula. I'm giving some badass tacos, sushi tacos, or chicken nugget tacos. You know, you inspired me, baby. Thank y'all for being so great. And Craig Weather Guy is awesome. Sunday PM thunderstorms. Northern Maine, Maine slug, then trailing boundary sagging south through central Maine. And the upper areas have been getting hit hard pretty, you know, over the last few weeks. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out for everybody. And sometimes I get hyper-focused on hurricanes. I get that. Yeah, dude, just the idea that every country in the world, now up to 4 million cases, is faking it. Just so Trump looks bad in an election three and a half months away. That just doesn't make any sense, man. I'll say it again. Yeah, the volcanoes have gotten acted, active and the surface level sea temperatures have gotten super smoking, especially on the run, which the waves will be rolling off of. I see you, Isaiah. Bye bye. Eric Spider Man shoots weather webs, um, showing us the, like, how it is heated up. And so, yeah, dude. And, you know, we've seen the volcanoes get kind of crazy lately. So, you know, Reed Dimmer. Showing us a little bit of God this morning. Those are beautiful colors. Have fun and good luck, Reed. Dot Dabu, Florida Wave Master. Must have worked out the bugs in the GFS. Yeah, the GFS totally sucked. You know, the GFS was like, there are no hurricanes anywhere. And, like, and then it was like, oh, okay, I changed my mind. 6E, just inside six days, couple of runs. MDL really initializing. Well, chances are increasing on the next damn storm, Isaiah's, within a five-day window. All East Caribbean residents should closely monitor the upcoming forecast. Dun, 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 dun. See, just 23 minutes ago, they were like, this is not a hurricane. And I was like, dude, they haven't measured it in hours. It's a hurricane. Jeez. I love you guys, though. Here's the cranks. They're dropping that badass hardcore science eye on the new ridge alignment in the southwest Atlantic. Our old tropical tracking around the old periphery. 07L brings up the rear. What? Okay, the newer high latitude southwest periphery extensions 10 days to the southwest Atlantic with the first. So, yeah, you got 10 days. Either we're going to be dealing with a Dorian, which is just eye candy and a bit of scariness that never amounts to much except for crushing the Caymans. Oh, and then you got another one and another one. And so, you know, it's one after another. And Gonzalo, I, I wouldn't, uh, you know, I just, I would keep a track, on, keep an eye on everything, like, you know, things are crazy. But, so there, you know, there's one and then there's another. So this would be the one in 10 days and then we better check it out. But this definite window, man, it is 2020 and it, we are deep in hurricane season and hurricane lasts till November, I believe. Yeah, Recon found it. A sub nine eight millimeter storm it is it is the last one was nine seven nine so this is a category two and i think it could be category three 971 was my guess 971 millibars back when everybody was saying it was just gonna be a travel storm so we've been focused mostly on gonzalo and hannah over the past few days but would be remiss to neglect douglas i knew douglas once he was a cool guy which will impact hawaii as a strong tropical storm tomorrow uh, you know, some of the models have suggested that it'll hit it as a hurricane. <laughs> but either way, it's going to be a storm, but Hawaiians are tough people. I watched Brady Bunch, I know that for a fact, but this will be the next one I'll be hyper-tracking. Who knows, maybe we'll have a, a beer hangout tonight if you're up to, for that thingy. Good job, ship, Gonzalo. <laughs> Here's the thing where I don't, you know, I'm always still learning. You know, because a lot of times I just use the force. Oh yeah, Billie Eilish has new music. And Grimes and Elon are jealous, or one of them. To both of them? What's he talking about? Oh, and so ship means that, like, if the hurricane were like a ship and didn't hit any land in any weather, that's how its intensity would be. <laughs> so I learned that. I was like, oh, that's good information. It makes sense. Nah, okay, my forecasts have improved. Meredith Graffalo letting us know that there's a whole bunch of monsoonal moisture pushing, surging as far north as the high plains. Fueling some flooding downpours on Friday, Ray, Colorado picked up more than five inches of rain from a super-soaked storm. 
triggering flash flood warnings. This part of the discussion on Gonzalo will be ASMR. An 85 mile per hour hurricane, this is not, seems destined to be another rainfall enhancing disturbance rounding a ridge. Alright, that joke's not funny anymore. Kept a low attitude, Western Caribbean, Western Gulf, poor environment, keeps a lid on it. But I still think we should watch this bugger until it's just gone, gone. Zach Covey says, you know, probably maintain a tropical storm status to tomorrow morning. Interesting storm for sure. And never forget, person, woman, man, camera, TV. I would be like, person, woman, man, camera, Billy, or something. I don't see how genius was doing that. I will all showed up. I was like, yeah, that's a hurricane. And that, you know. So sometimes I call things my own. I don't need everybody else's dictionary, but look at this giant tail. And so, you know, if this thing moves in slowly, which it's going to do, it'll approach slowly, strengthening until landfall. And some models had it getting stronger after landfall. Then it's going to drag this entire moisture tail up and in. And this is going to cause major flooding along this entire area. So it's going to do hurricane damage. So that's a lot of times why I call it a hurricane because it's going to do hurricane damage. And so it's going to make landfall as a hurricane. And so, yeah, I don't know. Just let, you know, then you know the thoughts behind my process. But it's definitely, it's a hurricane now, so I ain't going to worry about it. Elon Musk helped convince Republicans not to pass the unemployment benefit extensions saying another government stimulus package is not the best interest of the people, in my opinion. And Lauren Duca said, hey, thanks for your two cents, fifth richest person on the planet. You know, but I don't know. People love billionaires, especially the truth community. They're like, we love everything he, Elon does. We trust everything. Elon and, you know, all billionaires are like out for our interests. Tropical storm moving in. It's a it's a hurricane now, Cranky. Oh, you guys make me happy. And a lot of times, some of the Grand Solar Minimum guys will be like, you don't get any views. We get millions and millions of views. Telling people that a mini ice age is coming, although we didn't cover Gonzalo at all, really. I'm like, yeah, dude, I, you know, I don't get a lot of views, but everybody watches me. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it is official. Hannah has become the first hurricane of 2020 Atlantic hurricane season with maximum sustained winds at 75 miles an hour as it nears landfall. And... It's still land falling. Like, it's got a while to go. And Dada Boo, Florida Webmaster, talking to Cranky, talking about tail ends. I would talk about tail ends, but that, I'd probably get in trouble. <sighs> yeah, so, you know, where's both Cranky and Dada Boo are pointing an arrow. Not a, it's not a forecast, but saying that, like, dude, this thing is headed to the East Coast. I think it's going to hit Florida. But I super appreciate everybody, and especially everybody on the... You know, all the weather nerds, weather geeks, weather Twitter, um, everybody out there that is super cool. Look at that. Yeah, no, this thing's a, this thing's a bursting, baby. And it's got anywhere from 6 to 12 hours to still make landfall. What time is it now? 7.20 a.m. You know, some places have it at 5 more hours. Some places have it at 10 more hours, so... We'll have to watch, and it's definitely going to be a flood maker. But yeah, ding, 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 ding. I got this one. Nailed this one. Nailed this one from over a week out. Congratulations to everybody who nailed it from over a week out. You know? We said, yeah, it's going to be a hurricane. It's a hurricane. And then we got a hurricane headed to Hawaii, and then we got Gonzalez, which, you know, everybody's kind of writing it off, but we're going to watch it. And then we have Isaiah's, which Cranky and Dadabu have pointed arrows at it, and I've said that, like, all the model runs have it hitting everywhere. We're going to need prayer warriors. Um, and hopefully there's a special shield around Miami. But it's 2020, so I'm here to get people to be prepared, play good defense, even if they don't want to. I can't force you, but I can try and inspire you to play good defense. And special thank you and congratulations to Ryan Smithies and all the cool pilots, Chief Combo, for breaking the all-time squadron record for most hurricane penetrations ever with 341. Now that is impressive. It's, it's a, ooh, hurricane penetration sound really good right now. So yeah, 976 millibars or 979 millibars and strengthening. I'll be around. I'll be keeping you guys posted. There's so much happening right now. 
But I'd like to leave you on a positive note. One, the, we finally have a model who says that there might be a chance that Isaiah is not going to hit the USA. So out of all the model runs where it's like, it's going to hit the USA. We finally have one that's like, it's not going to hit the USA. And like I said, I think that is totally possible. I think, you know, the space aliens are protecting the prime real estate in Florida for sure. Um, so that is good news. And, you know, maybe my love life will pick up in August, but that's more a me thing, you know, so just putting that out there. If it picked up today, I'd be happy, but, you know, who knows? I'm just going to be happy with my tacos. But remember, models are pretty in agreement that this 110 mile per hour hurricane, Douglas, are going to plow into the back ass islands of Hawaii, which I'd like to visit someday. I've heard it. it's wonderful. So we had a lot to watch. This kind of has the buzzsaw look to it. There, there's the buzzsaw look. But it looks like it could be definitely weakening. But then it's picking up again, like a number six. Everybody says the number six is evil. So I better get it off now while I'm still on a high note. Okay, God bless everyone. Thank you, everyone, to be so for being so cool. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, everybody in Astro Fight Club. Thank you, anyone who ever told a good joke. Thank you, everyone who's ever nice and cool. Thank you, everyone who's ever a good cook. Thank you for everyone who is always helping make the world a better place. It's going to get crazy, though, but we're going to make it through together. Peace out. God bless everyone.